What's up guys, this is Clay again and i am uh, got a little update on my guitar. So this is the body. It is has been painted by yours truly. When I got it, it was just uh, blank. It was sealed and sanded from Mighty Might and it um, looked pretty good. So I uh, threw some paint on it. This is the paint I used. I went and got it from Home Depot. Satin Blue Wildflower. fast drying yada 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 yeah I think it did a really good job I really dig it um, I actually my strategy pretty much I don't really have a place to hang it so I had to deal with laying it on the ground which was not ideal uh, but it worked and so basically when you're not able to hang it you have to be a little bit more cautious about going a little bit slower just because you need to make sure that before you flip it over that the top side is dry and then you need to be a little bit more cautious about sanding because it may be um, a bit more of a challenge to make sure everything gets even so but other than that I think it worked fine um, needed to be intentional about getting the sides uh, but I think it went pretty good I, um, I tended to hold the spray nozzle back a little bit further than I think I would just to make sure that it didn't get drippy and I have applied lots of coats over the course of about a week. Um, I maybe put like a coat on per day, just a really light coat, and I figured I would be safer if I applied more coats slower. So I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, great color. I'm excited about that blue. So the next step is I also got this fast drying polyurethane. Um, they didn't have any sort of nitro or anything at the store, so. But this will work. And with the uh, polyurethane, it's probably going to be pretty thick in comparison to, especially the paint I just put on. I'm anticipating that it gets pretty thick. So I'm not really thinking I'm going to put a lot of coats on. I don't really want a thick finish. So. We're going to go ahead and rock this thing. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, give you guys another update. Probably it will go pretty slow with this stuff. Um, just keep it nice and slow. And like I said, give it plenty of time to dry before I flip it over. But yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks. Alright, so here's the parts. They finally came in. I am so pumped. I got it from AZ Guitar Parts online or something like that. And uh, I'm pretty happy. They had good prices. Um, shipping was good. The only mix up with the shipping was we've recently moved. And so I had a problem with my forwarding address, but that was my own fault. So, this is what we've got. This is a uh, the Telepick guard. This is actually mint green. I don't know if that's going to pick up, but it definitely uh, looks minty. And I love it. I'm super pumped. I think it's going to look great in comparison to that blue body. Here's the uh, jack plate. And then I have two jacks. I'm probably going to replace the jack on the Furion as well while I'm doing this. But one of those bad boys is for the telly. Now I've got the bridge. So check this thing out. It's a little chop-off G. Smith shorty bridge. Um, compensated saddles made by Wilkinson. And uh, I'm really excited about this thing. Um, I really think the chopped-off bridges look cool. They just, I don't know, it's just kind of a cool experience. Um, and check this out. So you got you know your four screws to drill it in the body, and then you've got those six you know holes where you can string through the body. Uh, the strings will go through there, or you can also to do a top loader. So whatever you want to do, and I'm excited about that. Um, I've heard it's a little bit of a different feel when it's top loader. Maybe not necessarily a difference in tone, but. We'll give it a shot, we'll experiment. Bag extra screws. I don't really even know why I ordered that, but it was like two bucks. And then a back plate. So these are the parts I've got. Um, so let's see here. I've already got frules. I'm just looking at the telly to make sure I'm on pace. I got a bridge and saddles. I'm gonna take this pickup and this pickup. Um, take them out. 
I'm gonna put the old Furion pickup back in just because these sound great and they need they need a proper home. Um, probably just gonna end up probably taking these pots back out too. And I got a pick guard. Um, my neck's already done, and I got a back plate. So yeah, I'm pretty much good to go. Uh, the body's outside drying. The neck's over there in the corner. And I'm pumped, guys. It'll be a couple days while I get this body finished, and uh, then we'll be able to rock and roll. So I'll keep you updated. See ya. All right, guys, another update on the body. So I think I am going to be just about done after uh, this last coat dries. So put on one final coat. Um, just basically wanted to cover the process that I've gotten to this far. So first I put on the blue paint. The strategy there was... Uh, light coats, lots of light coats, so not putting a lot of paint on really to avoid runs and then you don't have to do quite as much sanding um, if you have less imperfections to work with. Um, and I followed the same procedure with the finish, I'm trying to keep it a lighter finish, I'm trying to keep some of that wood grain, I don't know how well that's going to show up, but there's kind of a horizontal grain running this way, or vertical grain. Um, oh baby, what are you doing? I think one of the biggest challenges that I maybe ran into was these edges. Um, trying to make sure I can get the proper amount of finish and color on there without, you know, overloading it to the point where it's, yeah, just not really looking good. Especially, I ran into some drips right there. There's a couple. Um, yeah, because if you get too much, then it'll start to run down. That's no good. So, just trying to keep the coats nice and light. But I'm pretty happy with it so far, and I think um, probably going to be done after this. And then we can start putting it all together. So, hopefully in the next couple days we'll get things finalized, but I'm uh, moving forward. I'm excited. So, keep you posted. See ya. Alright, so it's starting to look like a guitar now. I was able to join the neck to the body last night. Look at that. It was a little bit tricky just because the body, I think the error was, but because I'm pretty confident that Warmoth wouldn't make a mistake. But the, the neck pocket, um, it, it fit pretty good, but where there were already pre cut screws, four holes uh, for the neck, and the four holes were just slightly high. So when I stuck, put the screws through the body, there was maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple centimeters off. Um, so I decided to leave the neck as is, and because it's a cheaper body, I would make the mod to the body. So I had to shave down this way. I just used some sandpaper, and I used a Dremel tool to get the corners. Um, it was a little rough, but I got it, the job done pretty well. I tried to keep it as everything as flush and as flat as possible, just because I know that in order to get the thing to resonate, it's usually helpful to try to keep as much wood to wood contact as you can. So, check it out, I got a connection. The getting the screws in was a bit of a challenge as well. I just wanted to be careful because this with this wood, um, it's, it does not have the same consistency as maple. I mean, maple is like rock hard. And this is definitely a stiff, strong wood, but it's just not the same. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pumped. It's starting to really look like a real guitar that needs to be played. Next step I'm going to go with is getting the bridge on. These uh, string through holes fit perfectly. Um, 